In this video, we'll dive into Google Cloud Console interactive tutorials. Interactive tutorials are a step-by-step -step tutorial that can help you learn about Google Cloud. They are embedded directly into the Google Cloud Console, so there is no context switching. They have a feature that we call Spotlights to help guide you users around the UI, but more on that later. Finally, these tutorials integrate with Cloud Shell and Cloud Code to provide a pre-configured development environment. Not only do users have interactive tutorials to help them on their learning journey, but when users click the Learn button, a panel appears that displays relevant links to documentation for the current page. This panel is called Learn Assistant. Learn Assistant not only provides additional interactive tutorials mentioned earlier in this video, but also provides steps to quickly get started with specific features and background information about a specific page component. Now that we know what interactive tutorials are, let's follow one together. You can find the interactive tutorials from the documentation via a Guide Me button. We'll do this one. Create a Linux VM instance in Compute Engine. As you can see, the tutorial shows you what specifically you will learn. In this case, we'll learn how to enable Compute Engine in a cloud project, create an Ubuntu Linux virtual machine, in other words, a VM, connect to the VM instance over SSH. And very importantly, the estimated time to complete this tutorial, which is four minutes. Let's click start to begin. Step one of the four step tutorial is to enable Compute Engine API in a cloud project. According to the instructions, we'll need to first select a project or create a new one. I'll use an existing project, test CTD. This part might look different on your end, depending on if you don't have billing enabled or if you're in a free trial stage. The next step is to enable the necessary APIs. See how easily this enables the APIs? Let's move on to the next step. Step two is to create a Linux VM instance. We'll follow the instructions starting with navigating to the menu and clicking VM instances, which appears under Compute Engine. Then follow the next instruction, create instance. Let's use show me, and you'll see that spotlight feature we were talking about earlier, showcasing what to click. Next, we'll enter an instance name. I'll use the name test instance. Again, let's use the spotlight feature to help us find change. Okay, let's click that. We'll change the following settings on the Public Images tab, Operating System to Ubuntu, Version to Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. We'll follow the instructions by clicking Select, and in the Firewall section, clicking Allow HTTP Traffic. Finally, clicking Create. We see our new instance on the VM instances page. Let's click next to move on to the next instructions. Step three is to connect to the VM instance. Let's find the VM instance we created. To find the connect column, we'll use Spotlight and a new CMD dialog opens and shows that we are connected to the VM terminal. Let's click next to move on. Step four, you'll see a few other interactive tutorials that allow us to do more with Compute Engine, like how to transfer files with VM, set up a basic web server, add a VM address to cloud DNS. Finally, you'll see information on how to clean up the instance so you don't incur additional charges. We'll follow these instructions. We'll go back to navigation, to Compute Engine, VM Instances. We'll again use Spotlight to find more actions. Finally, we'll choose Delete, then click Delete again to confirm. 
Finally, we can click finish to wrap up this tutorial. There you have it. In this video, we've learned about how interactive tutorials can be very helpful for learning more about Google Cloud. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like this video and click the subscribe button to watch more videos like this.